For Jesus, prayer was a necessary part of his everyday life. Now you can see it just flipping through the Gospel of Luke. In chapter 5, 16, But he, Jesus, would withdraw to desolate places and pray. In chapter 6, verse 12, And in these days Jesus went out to the mountain to pray, and all night he continued in prayer to God. Uh, chapter 9, verse 18. Uh, and now it happened that as he was praying alone, the disciples were with him, and he asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? Uh, 9, verse 28 and 29. Now about eight days after these sayings, he took with him Peter and John and James and went up on the mountain to pray. And as he was praying, the appearance of his face was altered and his clothes became dazzling white. Uh, for Jesus' prayer was a necessary part of his everyday life. It's just a big part of how he spent his time. And, and here's what happens as a result. Chapter 11, verse 1. Now Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John taught his disciples. Uh, so Jesus is spending all this time in prayer, and the disciples come to him and say, Lord, teach us to pray. Now Jesus also does many other things. He does miracles, he does teaching, uh, but you know what? They don't come up to him and say, Lord, teach us how to do miracles. I might have asked him that. I don't know if you would have. And, and he doesn't say, they don't come to him and say, uh, Lord, teach us how to preach or how to teach. Or, or Lord, teach us how to be a leader or how to be a good mom or dad or grandparent. Uh, instead, they come to him knowing how he lives his life with one request. Lord, teach us how to pray. And in response, he gives them the Lord's Prayer. Uh, and, and a few interesting things about the Lord's Prayer. One is it's very personal. Uh, it begins with our Father. Uh, not my Father, but our Father. He's, he's all our Father. Uh, it's crazy short. Uh, I mean, most prayers in a church service or even some meal prayers are longer than the Lord's Prayer. It's, it's very short. Um, and, and third, though, it, it seems like it's a prayer you're supposed to keep praying all the time. Give us our daily bread. You're praying for enough to get through one day uh, where it sounds like you just need to keep these prayers going. Uh, when it comes to prayer, we need to, one, keep it simple. Just keep it simple. Talk to your father as if you're talking to your father. Uh, we need to keep it honest. Uh, if you're having a lousy day, say you're having a lousy day. If you're having a great day, begin out of that. Uh, keep it honest. You don't have to pretend you have all these fancy religious terms in your vocabulary. Uh, keep it simple, keep it honest, and keep it going. Keep it going all the time. Pray when you want to. Pray when you don't want to. Because at the end of the day, the future does not belong to politicians. And the future does not belong to the tech companies, and the future does not belong to the coronavirus, but the future belongs to intercessors. Uh, the future belongs uh, to people like Jesus, uh, who spend a life in prayer, for whom prayer becomes a part of their everyday life. Please join me in prayer. Father, we love you. We thank you for all you do for us and all you've done for us. Uh, we come before you today just as we are. And you know what's going on in our hearts and minds. And so we take all those burdens and concerns off our shoulders and our minds and place them at your feet, trusting your love and your power. Fill us with your spirit and give us a diligence in prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks for taking a little time to listen to this. If you appreciate it, I encourage you to click like, click share, subscribe, and pass it on to somebody else who could use a little daily hope.